All right, welcome to uh, Gator Cup 2024. We're going to be filming uh, this match between uh, Theodore on uh, the left, uh, right off of our screen, and Jacob Wookie. We're going to have to adjust the camera here because uh, one of the coaches is in the way. Uh, Theodore is up to full draw, but I think we're going to shift shift a little bit over. All right, we can still easily see target 82 as well. All right, boom, Theo just shot. Oh, he looked pretty pleased with that one. He's looking back at his coach. Um, he's going up to draw again. Jacob is taking his time. So, all right, so Theo is done. Jacob's going up to full draw now. Boom. All right. Let's see uh, what the target looks like. Oh, well, we would love to see what the target looks like, but Theo is right there. <laughs> so we'll keep looking at uh, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob has a very unique stabilizer set up. He's really gone full circle now. Uh, with his stabilizer set up. If you've been following Jacob Bookie for a few years, uh, you know that he's had a... Uh, he's kind of known for his unique stabilizer setup. So he's got rods on the top and bottom of his riser, but he's also running a traditional uh, stabilizer setup with V-bars. So he's combining both, because in the past he's ran just uh, the top and bottom bars with a single front rod. Uh, and then he switched back to the more traditional uh, front rod with, with V-bars, and now he's running both together, which is uh, interesting. But it hey, works for him, and if it works for you, uh, you kind of stick with it. Uh, yep, Theo is still blocking <laughs> his target. Well, let's see if we can see it now. We've got to focus here. Uh, uh, pretty small, but... Um, they got some arrows in the center there. There is somebody with a high seven. Uh, we don't have a spotter, so I can't I can't tell you exactly what the what the score is. We will have to go by the flipboards to get a, a result. Now, filming this on uh, the morning of May twelfth. So, um, Happy Mother's Day! It is also uh, my brother's birthday on May twelfth. So that's pretty cool. I still need to go and find uh, the tournament on between ends here so we can kind of keep track of this a little bit better. Let's see. It's loading. Hmm. All the youth divisions uh, finished up yesterday. So uh, gotta got to go through all of those first. Let's see. The adults should be on here. Yep, here we go. Here we go. All right. We finally closed enough of the tabs for all the youth divisions that finished. So now I can see what is going on. Senior men. So we are on the 116th round right now. Oh, they just finished up the 132nd earlier. That I was in that round, but I got knocked out. And uh, we're going to see, uh, see how this goes. Mm. So in terms of uh, ranking position, Jacob Wookie ranked in 7th, and he uh, hails from Ohio. Uh, Theodore Cameroon uh, ranked in 26th, and he is from California. So, you know, relatively close in terms of uh, ranking. Uh, there was 62 archers overall, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're, they're right up there in the... You know, definitely the upper half plus, you know, maybe even upper uh, third of uh, the archers on the field here. Uh, looks like Jacob has taken the first, uh, you know, round. So two set points to Jacob. We'll see uh, what Theo can do on this second uh, end here. So he can get uh, two set points for himself, or at least tie Jacob. Uh, because he doesn't want he doesn't want Jacob to get too far away uh, in terms of set points. Because once Jacob hits six, Jacob wins. 
or or vice versa. You know, Theo could win the next three matches in a, uh, you know ends in a row, and he could get six set points. So uh, we will see. Uh, in terms of the environment, if we look at the targets way back there. Wind is really calm right now. Not much going on. Uh, really great weather. Horse shooting. It's not cold. Um, not hot. Nice, nice mild temperature. Um, if you can find the windsock. There's the windsock. It's not doing much out there. So nice and calm. Uh, the sun is not blaring. Uh, if you can see the clouds over those houses, it's pretty um, overcast. So should give you a nice flat, you know, picture, sight picture. Uh, should be pretty productive for, for shooting arrows, shooting good arrows. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we don't get rain later in the day. I've, I've heard from some people that uh, there may be rain in, in our future, but we will uh, see how that goes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear. All right. I always wonder sometimes what archers talk about uh, on the line. Usually it's about non-archer related stuff, which is kind of funny. But I guess it's a, a way to keep your mind off of uh, you know, what's going on in the, in the moment. But uh, we should be getting started. Uh, the judge for this side of the field is, is coming back now. Uh, there's a lot of other archers. Quite a, an extensive field. Up there's Jack and Brady. Uh, the judge for the other side's walking back now. So uh, yeah, and then uh, so that's and uh, oh, some more archers. So it's, we, have, we have quite an extensive field of, of archers today. And this is this is the second field. There's another field full of uh, compound archers. All right, got both of these two in frame now Let's see what's going on Theo is definitely a bit of a, a quicker shooter Jacob's a little more um, slow and you know a little more methodical with uh, his shooting process but but it works for him um, well both both of these archers shoot very well let's see we're gonna see. Ooh, okay. So we knew there was two arrows in the target before, so they both shot nines the first arrow. Theo just shot, looks like another nine. And uh, Theo's going to be up to draw again before... Uh, yep, Theo's done before Jacob even gets his second arrow down there. Uh, I can't quite see Theo's third arrow, but... It looks like Jacob did shoot another nine. So it looks like two nines for Jacob. Two nines and a question mark, I think, for Theo. We will, we will see. Theo's discussing st strategy with his coach. Maybe. I'm talking about something. Uh, I think she's talking about archery stuff. She's making archery-related uh, <laughs> movements. <laughs> but uh, there we go. There's Jacob. Boom. <laughs> All right. No. Uh, you know, I wouldn't want to play poker against uh, Jacob. He's, he's, he's usually has like the same expression on all the time. And um, he'd be very, he'd be a guy that would be very hard to read, I think. <laughs> Especially in his shooting, you know, when, you, when you're talking to him, he's, he's, he's a fantastic uh, guy to talk to. He's got a ton of, of archery knowledge, and um, I've known him for a lot of years now. Uh, let's see, what's it looking like? Uh, Theo uh, <laughs> is blocking our, our view of his target, but uh, we're going to see. Now, uh, later in, in uh, this set of videos, because there's going to be a dedicated playlist to Gator Cup elimination matches, um, I'll probably have a spotter and I'll probably have a, another announcer so that I can just fully focus, uh, focus on um, you know, filming uh, and zooming in and stuff 
of these matches. But uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. Let's see. I don't think his coach said nine nine eight. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully Theo can get some set points. He needs two. Two would be great. It really it'll keep him in the in the match really well. Um, other than that, uh, while those two are are doing things, we can we can peek on on other archers. Uh, Brady looks like he's up two so far. Jack's up two. Christian is down two. Yeah, most of these archers haven't flipped their flip boards yet, so uh, there's that. Um, looks like Gabe. Gabe's up four. Uh, Venu, who usually commentates for us, he's up. He's up four. Um, who else? Joseph is down uh, four set points now. Looks like Justin Ewish took uh, two from him, so Justin's got four. Oh, uh, let's see. Up, oh, Jacob. Uh, Jacob took that one. Jacob's. Up. Up four set points to Theo's zero. All right, so uh, Theo's gonna need to make something happen on this this set here because he needs those needs those points to stay in it. If they tie, it's not the end of the world. It'll be five one. But if he loses, that's gonna get Jacob to six, and uh, then Theo will be knocked out. Um, so yeah, Crispin Crispin Duanius is here too from from O Canada. He's doing things, looking very serious. Um, let's uh, zoom back out. All right, we're getting ready. I'm ready for the next set. Uh, I guess the arrow was really close. It was just out or just in. Uh, these things happen. This is this is archery. You know, sometimes uh, victory is in millimeters, but. Um, Pretty cool. Uh, that. The judges are coming back, so this is a good sign. This is an all recurve field, so it should be a little bit more consistent. <laughs> Sometimes um, compound holds us up, but you know, you know, it's, it, it it happens. It happens. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we should be starting momentarily. Um, other than that, weather's still unchanged, still nice and overcast. It's uh, just after 9.30 now, and yep, yeah, guys are going back to the line. Let's see. All right, Theo, full draw, boom. Already got one arrow down there. Let's see, uh, Jacob. And then once Jacob shoots, we'll check the target. All right, Theo set down, which is kind of good, so we can actually see what's going on here. All right. I'm taking it that the nine is Jacob's and the, I think it's a seven out there is Theo's. Could be mistaken, but oh, Theo just shot a nine. Jacob has not gone back to full draw. I'm saying the arrow that's out there is Theo's because his coach was making a, uh, a hand gesture indicating that it was out there. So um, oh yeah, I'm assuming. <laughs> Boom, look at that, all right. Shots are looking good. Let's see. Oh. All right, so Theo did uh, another nice shot. Ooh, unless unless he got a seven. There is two sevens out there, but I don't know if one's Jacob's. It could be. Uh, and then there's maybe a nine ten liner and uh, two nines. You guys may be able to see this better. Uh, I'm looking on like a small three inch, four inch screen here, so I can only see so much. Uh, let's go back to Jacob. Let's try to watch him 
Shoot bone. All right, I think I think that was a ten. Uh, I I could be wrong. Could be very wrong, but um, you know, it was good shooting. Uh, Theo might might be out. We'll we'll see though. We're gonna we're gonna wait for the uh, official flipboards uh, from the guys when they get down there. All right, and that uh, that leads us to a. Uh, a perfect period of time to tell you about sure shot archery products you see those flags on top of the target those target flags well sure shot archery makes target flags and they're available at sureshotarchery.com our flags have been used at USAD events Olympic trials and World Cups uh, they are the official world archery size for a target flag and they work really well you can uh, just mount them to an, uh, an arrow or a a, a dowel, or you can pick up a 360 spinner, which allows um, your target flag to spin 360 degrees um, around the, the pole that it's it's on, or arrow that it's on, and it makes it much more accurate to to read the like velocity and direction of the wind uh, compared to just having them uh, you know uh, nailed or stapled into a dowel. Um, other than that, we also make flipboards, target pins, and tungsten points, along with a variety of other products. Um, but check them out at SureShotArchery.com. Now we got some. It looks like we got some signing and stuff going on here. So I'm taking it that uh, Jacob has wrapped up this match. Uh, we will. We will see. We're waiting. We're waiting for the official flipboards. Still. Let's see. Yep. And there we have it. That is the official flipping of the of the flipboards. And Jacob has taken this match against Theo. So congratulations, Jacob. He's going to move on to the next target, and uh, we're going to move on to the next target as well. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, you know, check out the rest of this playlist because there should be uh, <laughs> there should be matches after this because we just wrapped up the one sixteenth round for for some of these archers. There's probably some with with ties and stuff like that that have to you know keep shooting. Uh, but we will see you again in uh, the one the one eighth. Um, as always, thank you for watching and happy shooting.